So he basically attacks with his penis. That's what I've determined from this skill icon. Is that he attacks with his penis. Ah, uh, someone at Counter is having some fun with these new monsters. So Gapsu, brand new fusion LD5 unit. The first skill does a stun. Actually, not all of these are the same. This one uh, freezes. He has 111 base speed. Pretty good, but doesn't really have enough to um, do too much with that 111 base speed. He also attacks with his penis as well. Fun fact. Uh... <laughs> Uh, this skill is kind of like Wusa. He does pure damage with uh, skill 2. And then this one will keep increasing the attack bar when the opponents heal. At least people are using him. Oh, okay. So he's going to counter the vert heal. You know that's staying in. Aside from that. Yeah, aside from that, I don't know how much uh, else he's going to. Not bad damage. We're seeing the Ragdoll more than anything else, because the Ragdoll's still here. So we have multiple units on the right that heal. Three different units. So he's leaving all of those in, because he wants that attack age. Let's see. So that was not a heal skill. They just went for the immunity. I was just waiting for Ferna to proc and then have all of that. Uh, okay, look at that. He's got more attack age, more attack age. He get, so he gets the attack age. It's not that he does a crazy amount when he takes his turns, though. It'd be cool if he did more when he took his turns. Okay, increase attack bar. But I suppose, let's actually take a look at that attack bar. I suppose if he if he did more, he would be too OP. Because then he would steal so many turns. So he's doing a good job at stealing turns. I will give him that. Look at all that uh, attack age increase. Attack age increase. Some of the units that uh, are on the opponent's side. Yeah, he's stealing a decent amount of uh, attack age. Stealing a decent amount of turns. But then after that, then what? He's got a little bit of pure damage. This is a tricky situation, though, because if they make... Look at all that attack age. He he would be very OP if he did more. He'd be very OP if he did more. So they, they can't... They have to be very, very careful buffing this unit. I, I think that they did a... I think this is actually a good thing for the meta, is things that cut in. But... That's a lot of attack age. But he doesn't do a crazy amount of stuff. Like, the, the match is just going. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. But the problem is, he doesn't do... He doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, so... Whatever damage he does... Since the opponent's team is always going to be healing, because that's why you bring him in... They can just heal all the damage that he does back. So I think he needs to be in a destroy situation of some sort. We're seeing we're seeing how strong he could be against multiple healers, but we're also seeing how there's an issue, right? But man, if if they gave him like a little buff, he could be he could be very very OP. So this is definitely a unit that we got to keep our eyes on in balance patches. And I, I can't imagine. They, they've got to know. They've got to be smart enough to know that if they give him any little buff, he could wreck. Why would you pick this first? This is a counter unit. The opponent could just pick no heals and be fine. I'm not sure what the strategy is. Maybe just have... Fun, I guess. So, so if I wanted to play with Gapsu in every match, what I would try to do is bait out heals on the opponent's side, and then pick Gapsu at the end. So let's see, but I don't, I don't know how much that Gapsu is gonna do. All right, start and end. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll see some crazy, but I, I honestly, I, I don't expect anything crazy.
Yep. This is what happens when you don't use it against the heal team. It, it really doesn't do anything. It's just like they they let the. I mean, there's there's the Ethna, which is kind of it's doing the tiniest job of feeding Gapsu, but aside from that, there's nothing feeding him. He's he's just doing nothing. Like they would have been so much better off using almost anything else, and definitely not picking. He's a counter unit. There's no reason to pick him first. So two healers on the right. Are they gonna ban out the? Okay. Not the way I thought the pick band was going to go, but there is at least a few things that are going to. This is a <laughs> this a wacky pick band face. I I mean, some people probably just want to just want to use him, right? Is day one? Some people just want to use him. I can just think of nine million other units that would be more meta in this spot than Gapsu. There is there is some heals though. There is some heals. So it's not it's not that he does nothing. Yeah, it's just he he, he doesn't really do enough here to There we go. There we go. Some heals. I mean some uh well, some heals and some increased attack bar. So we get to see that. That was a solid proc. And his skill 2 cooldown isn't, like, crazy low either. If it was crazy low, it'd be a different, uh, different kind of conversation. Possibly. Yeah, he just, he, he just doesn't quite do... He doesn't do enough, but if he did do enough, he would be way too strong. So Gapsu at the end. And leaves the two healers in to feed him some turns. The uh, light Ivor is going to also take some turns as well. Increase tag bar, increase tag bar. I I, I don't know that it's going to be enough though. He's in a dangerous spot. That's the thing. I can't like. He's not crazy strong. I'm just going to sound like a broken record as usual. He's not crazy strong, but if they did, if they did actually buff the other skills where he did some more nasty stuff when he cut in, he could be game-changing. He could be way too ridiculous. So this is a unit that if, if he's in a balance patch, he could be a triple S tier unit easily. So Comptra, again, Comptra says be very careful when they uh, when they buff this unit in balance patches. As Comptra was like, yeah, that's why we're not gonna put him in any balance patches. Sneaky. Increase tech bar, increase tech bar. Two healers picked on the right hand side. Gapsu already picked into the two healers. They have a third healer now, which I'm sure none of those healers are gonna get banned. Does the Ethna get yeah the Ethna the Ethna gets banned and they're not gonna ban the Gapsu because he doesn't do enough to warrant a ban. So let's see. Wow, that monkey took a lot of damage. So he's gonna cut in a second. Well, he's not gonna cut just yet. Okay, monkey's dead. But here's here's the situation. So you have to pick him against heal. I've already reiterated this a million times in the video. I'm sure. I don't know which clips I'm including, which clips I'm not. But the situation is you have to pick him as a counter to multiple healers on the opponent's side. However, any damage that he does is just going to get healed back up the next time they move, right? Because there's multiple healers and he doesn't do enough damage to actually take things out. So I think the key is going to be either to CC, but the Antares kind of does that. Antares does that, Amduat does that. They do the interrupt and CC. If we're going to see anyone do anything amazing with him, it's probably going to be right here. There is... Well, there are some heals. He's going to get carried. He's going to get carried by everything else. Tell me he's not, because I know he is. Okay. 
Simple solution, and he misses. But, you know, that's, uh, that's Summoner's War. So, Gapsu didn't really do a crazy amount right here. Let's see. Although, we, we do get to see both of them. So, the, uh, the dark one and the water one. Both of the, uh, the, brand, the brand new Dokebi Lords that attack with their... <clears throat> well, yeah. See, that one... Look at that. Skill animations. It, it, it feels like it's taking a while for those skill animations. Who do you think who do you think had a better performance here? The water one or the the dark one? It's it's probably a like we we know the water one performed a little bit better, showed a little bit more of what he could do. We also got to see the uh, LD5s, <laughs> the, the other LD units do uh do what they could do. Of all of the units here, He's, he's the one doing the least. He, he, he was the one that contributed the least to the team. Final verdict, this is a unit that could be insanely OP in a balance patch, depending on what they do with him. As long as they keep this increase your attack bar whenever the enemy recovers the HP, that's not the issue. The issue is that when he... <laughs> the issue is this skill is just very creepy. Uh, I kind of feel uncomfortable <laughs> even looking at that icon. The issue is that when he gets a turn, he doesn't do anything ridiculous. So, really, my thought is if they give him the Lexi treatment, where if you guys remember what Lexi does, we're on the uh, um, Europe server account. I was going to say that the only account that's not the account that we're on. We're on the Europe server account. So, if they give him the Lexi treatment and do something like this, decrease the HP recovery amount that all uh, monsters, all monsters receive by 50%. Not that part, but the... Uh, if the enemies recover HP a certain amount of times, you'll inflict damage that ignores the enemy's defense on your next turn. I think this could be very interesting to do. His He already does pure damage, but I think having some kind of big snipe mechanic, or maybe even destroy HP, could be the direction that they could go with that to make him actually pretty strong. Because I think it's this is a unit that, like, if they tweak him just a little bit, they could break him and make him super OP. So anyway, that's it for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you as always in the next one.